Good morning, folks. Let's begin with a shot from NASA's Earth Observatory. On the left, you see New Mexico's Whitewater Baldy Fire. The smoke has crossed six state lines. A couple quick stories. High-grade uranium found in Iran. Whether used for nukes or not, the Western elites will use this in the worst way possible. Most of us know Alaska's got resources, but the extent is a bit of a mystery, and it's more than just one type of energy. And a follow-up to Japan's downgrade this past week, Bankia leads the way among Spanish banks in trouble. On the bottom right here, you can see Hurricane Bud, or what's left of him. Landfall is truly unkind to these leviathans, almost gone now. No time to catch our breaths, however. Barrel formed off the east coast last night. Here she is churning at the, uh, at the end, beginning to dive towards land there. The Pacific Ridge saw a moderate tremor last night. Mainland Central America has taken the brunt of the Caribbean seismicity over the last day. You remember these quakes way far north, biggest was a 6.5. Now while the biggest quake of this swarm is a 5.0, we have things beyond magnitude with which to be concerned. This is not an error, the USGS does peg this less than 5 latitude degrees from the North Pole. Solar wind speed, the yellow, now may be considered at ambient levels. Above that, the orange, the solar wind density is slightly elevated as we await this tiny coronal mass ejection impact here. Background resonance indoors and has not been quiet all week long. These bright active regions on the left here are the only solar feature of importance today. You can see her pipe dreams building as the Earth footprint lies right atop those turning sunspots. Blue, red, jumbled together haphazardly. Now NOAA does their classification at night, but this morning, this thing is beta gamma. Watch for flares and CMEs today. Folks, this is Stereo B, the Earth is off to the right, and that means that these bright regions down here on the right are actually the regions we just looked at turning on the bottom left. So what's coming on the north just behind those active regions? That massive coronal hole. I hope none of you have forgotten it, and it will show herself this weekend. On the right, goodbye Jupiter. Mercury conjoins the Sun this weekend. When it pops out the other side, Venus should be visible here as well. As the two inner planets conjoin to begin June, we approach the second of four eclipses in 2012 during this full moon right here. And only one day afterwards, Venus transits the Sun. Little fun fact, Iceland is the only place on Earth that gets to see it twice at sunset and sunrise. That's the news, folks. Be safe.